making a big deal out of it is simple. I, I will still repeat it. If you can't condole it, if you can't take it, it's fine. It's absolutely fine with me. I'll just have a few days to myself and I'll be good. Mm. Yes. I'm not fish out, I don't get straight for this so mm, yeah, before right. you don't they compare me to person where be serious. So you did that. D see. I'm going to pipe you, I'm going to fuck you. To be mad. Because all those who talk up here actually feel like talking about it. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. To so returning subscribers, I want to say a very big thank you if you're just joining me for the very first time. Thank you so much. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, just hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and guess what, guys? We're about to have a ride of a lifetime. So straight into my gist. Yesterday, Fina and of course Gooby had a little bit of an issue. And what was this issue about? It was about Fina's alcohol intake. Now, Groovy is worried about the fact that why are you taking so much alcohol? They already had an agreement before now that whenever Fina wants to take alcohol, right, she should let him know so that he can monitor whatever she's trying to take. And, you know, Groovy is, you know, taking lessons from whatever has happened between him and Beauty. Remember that, you know, Beauty, anytime she takes alcohol overboard, right, she tends to misbehave. And it's beginning to show also in Fina, right, even in, on the alcohol bottle, they'll tell you drink responsibly. So I'm wondering, right, Fina yesterday was just taking lots and lots of bottles of uh, alcohol, right? And of course, you know, Ruby's like, what is wrong with you? Are you, are you not clearly, are you not clearly high? You look at the way you're walking. What if you fall? Why will I fall now? Today I don't drink. I'm what is why do you fall now? Today you don't drink. No, but you fall for inside bathroom. Even if I fall, bro, which person have you ever seen that it would take alcohol? It is not about that. It is not fucking about that, Fina. All these if are the vibes. Outside mode, All these are my If we clues. are in the outside mode. Now, it feels like yesterday, Fina actually misbehaved at some particular point and, you know, Groovy felt embarrassed. So Groovy is telling Fina that, you know what, see, I felt embarrassed yesterday at your misbehavior because of the fact that you took lots of alcohol. And of course, Fina is like, oh, now you're saying that, you know, I'm embarrassing you, I'm an embarrassment to you, right? But Google is saying, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you embarrassed me yesterday and that the fact that you're taking alcohol beyond your level is what I am concerned about. Blim, you're I'm telling now, me you're an adult. You are, because you are now pushing me away. That is what you're doing. Because you're already comparing me. You're already saying I'm an embarrassment to you. You're already saying a lot. Did, did I say you're an embarrassment to me? That's what you mean by I saying I embarrassed you. That is not now, Groovy went on to mention beauty in the conversation, and this got Fina angry, right? So Fina is like, why would you compare me with beauty or compare me to beauty? Either way, it's right. And of course, you know, Ruby is telling her, see, I apologize for having to bring Beauty into this conversation. But the same thing Beauty was telling me, the same thing you're telling me right now, you're telling me you're an adult, everybody knows their limits and all of that. It's the same thing that Beauty told me. She told me she's an adult. And of course, that was what got her out of the house. And here you are telling me the same thing, right? It won't happen to me the first time. And I opened my eyes and allowed it to happen to me the second time. I'm sorry for bringing the whole thing about Beauty, but what I was just trying to say is that you, what I am just trying to say is that beauty told me the same words. I am an adult. I can do whatever it is that I want. And I clearly everybody see how fucking an adult. Up. Yes, and everybody I clearly, is an, everybody is an adult. To me. And we all Allow have our different finish. approach to, to alcohol. Allow me to finish. We have our different now, in all of this, Fina just said that, you know what, if he's not comfortable, if he feels like she's embarrassing him, they should just go their separate ways, right? They should go their separate ways and not have anything to do again in the house. And, you know, well, that's who she is, right? And, of course, you literally could hear Groovy saying that, see, this doesn't make sense. Remember the times I've been there for you. Remember the times I've had to do stuff for you, right? And I feel like Groovy was coming from an emotional um, standpoint, yeah? He was telling her to see, remember the times we've had good times together, and this should not be a reason why we should split. And I just you should. You, now you're telling me, oh, if I'm, if I'm, if if I don't like the way that you are, I should do my thing. I should go, blah, blah, blah. like yes. that is you're not even solving the problem. If you can't condole it, if you can't take it, it's fine. It's absolutely fine with me. I'll just have a few days to myself and I'll be good. Mm -hmm. Eventually, we saw moving it alone for the first time in a long time. Remember that you know moving and Fina always they kind of eat together always, right? But here we see the fact that Ruby was eating alone and Fina was nowhere to be found. Moving on to my next guest. Yesterday, after the pocket presentation in the arena, 
Hermes blew hot on all the housemates. He used different kind of words. He literally sliced everybody with his words, right? And guess what? What was his bone of contention? Why was he really mad and raging mad, you know, about whatever it was? So yesterday in the arena, while they were having the pocket presentation, right? Big Brother asked him to choose the order with which all the teams will go. And then he chose his team last. He said everybody should go first while his own team goes last. And in his team, we have Adekunle, we have Elo Swags, we have himself and some other people. And then, while they were performing, right, Elo Swags was putting the, uh, the shoe on his ears, like he was making a phone call, you know, he was doing his tip like this in some type of way. And of course, this got some, some, some of the housemates who were watching them angry and laughing rather. Some of the housemates in the audience, right, they were laughing. And of course, Hermes didn't like it. Now, coupled with the fact that, you know, those people were laughing, so Hermes took it as, you know, very insulting. Why would they be laughing when they were performing, right? And, of course, this also hit Brian because Brian was like, come on. He was laughing at what Ellis was doing. He wasn't laughing at the fact that the presentation was whack. But one of the things that also, you know, was crazy was the fact that Rachel made a statement beside Adekunle saying that, why would you guys go last, right? And then you guys will say, have a whack performance. I'm I don't even talk. What did Rachel say, bro? Something about going last but still not delivering or something like that. I didn't hear I it properly. Know, all... And that was it. I'm like, ah, ah. It's one of them now. It's just... I would never it's wish this table. on you. Moving on to my next gist. So yesterday after they left the arena from the pocket presentation, right? And of course, we would have told them that they lost their wager. Housemates. Yes, yes brother. brother. You have lost your wager. Leave the arena immediately. They now came into the house, right? And of course, head of house doctor called for a town hall meeting. He called for a meeting of all the housemates. And he said, you know what, see, I'm not happy that we lost this wager and all of that, right? And of course, one after the other, people stood up to, you know, give their own, you know, remarks and their own submissions and all of that. And then we now hear the later in the kitchen, right? He was saying, he was telling, I don't know, he was telling Dr. the C while we were having the meeting and he was trying to talk, Bella was not telling him to stand up. And in his mind, he was like, ah, God saved out that it was day was crazy. This that he has been like a crazy guy. She will hear it. Because why would you be telling him to stand up? I mean, are you what's your business with me standing up? And he was like, see, I'm not your boyfriend that you're controlling on. Implying that you know Bella is controlling Shags and he's not Shags. Now when I decrease, if I don't blast them, they say, if you yeah. control your guy, you know say, if I don't scatter, my other guy say, guys, not worth it. Like some people. Finally on this video, we hear Elo Swags telling Chumzy, right, that when they get outside of the house, it's going to hit her hard. That was what he was telling her. It's going to punch her hard. He literally was telling Chumzy in the garden because we're having a conversation about, oh, Chumzy was telling him how, you know, he looked really good today while they were presenting and all of that and how another girl was looking at him and she wasn't liking it, right? And then, you know, um, he was not mentioning some type of girl, that who's this girl, who's this girl? And then Chomzo was like, okay, apart from me, who are the girls you like in the house? And then he mentioned the by they like to live by it. And Chomzo was like, oh, so you like some girls apart from me, right? And then he was like, see, when I get outside of this house, when we leave this house, I am, the way I'm going to punch you. I'm going to pipe you, I'm going to fuck you, to be mad. <laughs> and that's it on this video thank you so much guys for watching please if you have not subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button turn the notification bell and guess what you can notified whenever i post a video we're on social media platforms on facebook and instagram and twitter and of course on tiktok and follow me at the family daniel and until next time i come away again very soon it's bye for now